Hello guys, what's going on? This is Exodus Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to do a zombie tutorial on Quick Time Fusion or zombie movement. So, as you can see, I can this is this is the zombie here. This one moving. This is our player. So if I use arrow keys, I can move around. If I go on, now, he's not following us, but if I go near him, then he will follow us everywhere. So I can lead him around. I'm going to show you how this works. This basically works by a circle. So if I just delete this, right? Okay. This works by a circle, as you can see. This black and yellow circle is what makes him follow us. So if I'm outside, he can't do anything. But if I go inside, he if I, whenever I'm touching that, like this, it doesn't matter. He will follow me. So that's how it works. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. So, okay. We're going to create a new application. And what we're going to need is three actives. To get an active, double click and get click active. We need three of them. So okay so go to this one or any of them double click it click new up here and click the circle tool or you can click E and then just draw a circle and then click on the fill can tool which is F or you can just click it over here and um, fill, fill it in so click OK once you've done that and you should see 8 dots that go around your circle drag them out so your circles like about this big okay now we're going to rename this one zombie well rename one of them zombie and rename one player you can do this by right pressing f2 on them or right clicking and rename so go to your player go to movement which is this one the blue one with the running man click static and change that to eight directions and change his speed to 20 Okay, so I'll go over that again. You click on him, click movement, which is here. Then you click into the type, which is your movement. Change that to eight directions. Scroll down in that same page, and you should see speed. Change that to twenty. So once you've done that, go to your zombie. Your zombie. Go to your movement. It should be static. Change that to bouncing ball, and then scroll down and change the speed to ten. Okay. So now that that's set up, we're going to go to Control E or event editor which you can click on up here and do new condition in the cogs which is special click always now go to under your black dot or um, circle right click and click posit go into position and click select position and click on the zombie and then just click OK and that means it's always been set to the zombie now click new condition player collisions another object as uh, on no circle put zombie direction look in direction of and then click on your player and click OK. Now click new condition, click go to your timer, click every, then take the set seconds to zero and put one in there. So that means every hundredth of a second it'll be refreshing. And then drag that up onto the two. And then put that above the two. And there we go. That's basically our movement. Now do um, new condition, start a frame, visib go under your black dot, click visibility, and click make object invisible. Now I'm just going to check I've done everything because I'm sure I've missed some of it. Oh yeah, there we go, I know what it is. Alright, so when you're in the event editor, you're going to go to um, new condition and you're going to do check, f go click on click on your zombie and click position and then click test position of zombie and then you're going to click on each of these arrows, the ones inside but at the edge of the box and click OK and then go into your zombie here and put movement bounce. There we go. That's all it takes to do your zombie movement. So now if we run this, which is the one I've just shown you, the zombie's moving around. When you get near him, he comes to follow you. If we move away, he won't follow us. Now, I'm going to show you, now all you need to do to make your drag, your um, detect radius bigger is click, click on it, click again slowly, 
and then drag it out. So now he will literally detect us from mostly everywhere. So there, you're not detecting us. There. Now, as you can see, he's got a way bigger detect radius. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick zombie tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye.